Hello guys, welcome to my next video, and today I'm gonna show you how to fix Steam again. So, it got updated again, so we're gonna fix it. Okay, so the first step is gonna be closing Steam. So, we have to completely close Steam. That's the first step. Okay, we gotta wait well, a while. Okay, so we're gonna create a, short again, a shortcut again, you know. For people that don't know how to create a shortcut, you basically just uh, go to this PC. Basically where your uh, Steam is installed, it's usually program 86, uh, program files 86, and then there should be Steam, it's right here, blah blah blah, call it how, name it however you want, let's call it, I don't know, finish, we have, s doesn't matter, no, it can be by default, you know, doesn't matter, so we go to properties, and we paste this long ass command that's gonna be in the description, so, paste, we paste it, click apply, okay. What this does is that it actually installs Steam, like the old uh, old Steam. I think the version is from like May, June, could be even from July. I think it's from like May. Uh, I'm not sure. I all I know is that it's not the latest one. Okay. Meanwhile, it's uh, you know, me meanwhile when it's downloading, we're gonna create a config file. That's a tricky part because I'm an idiot and uh, I don't know how to create a config file, so. What I basically did was just go to s uh, go to Steam. If you if you ever played CS, just uh, go to Steam. User data, you know this 7:30 local CFG, and you have like few config files. Doesn't matter which which you choose. Just fucking copy it to your desktop. Oh wait, you know, and uh, just delete everything that's here. Yeah, and just rename it to steam.cfg. That's what you gotta do. And oh, okay, so uh, we're we're gonna head to Steam again. Wait until it's download until uh, downloaded, and then you're gonna paste uh, this. Oh, I forgot to add the command. Yeah, fuck, I'm an idiot. Okay, so you're gonna paste those two commands into this file. Steam.cfg, you're gonna save it, and when the download is finished, you're just gonna paste it. So, I mean, this this one is fucking tricky. You know, it's uh, it's a way it's way harder than it was, but it's the only way. Uh, install and update. Jesus. Okay, as you can see, some files are already getting replaced. So. I should edit this video, but I don't have any Sony Vegas or something because I reinstalled Windows recently. So, yep, okay, it's finished. We paste this thing into the Steam folder, we close it. Then we go to properties again of the shortcut we created and we delete this whole thing. You know, you don't, obviously, you don't want to delete the path to the original uh, application. You just want to delete the command that's going to be in the description. So we type space again. We typed, uh, geez, I don't even know how it's called, this fucking minus thing. Uh, and we type v to this command. Bro, my English is broken, I don't know. We click. What? Oh, yeah, I forgot to add space. We click apply, okay, and we launch it. And as you can see, it's already old, and you have the old Steam again. Everything, everything should work. Steam should not get updated. And yep, that's basically it. So hopefully it helped you out. It's a bit longer, uh, harder, but you're gonna make it, guys. Anyway, thanks for watching. Leave a like if it helped, and see ya.